Steph Curry is an interesting player to me because I understand both sides of the discourse around him to a certain extent. I understand why people like him, why they root for him, and why they enjoy watching him play. I enjoy watching him play, he's one of the most fun basketball players I've ever seen. But I also understand the other side of this as well. I understand why people may not be the biggest fans of him. Because Steph Curry is an absolute sicko. I don't know if this is a hot take or not, but Steph Curry might be the most dangerous offensive player in NBA history. You can make that argument, and I would listen to it. Maybe I'd agree, maybe I wouldn't, but he definitely has a case. Steph's gravity as a player on its own is insane. This is a player that can be a scoring threat from even past 30 feet from the basket. And he's not just a capable player when it comes to hitting deep threes, it's a legit weapon in this game. He has limitless veins as a suitor. That's not hyperbole. His veins is in the gym. This is to be expected when you're talking about by far the greatest suitor basketball has ever seen, but it goes beyond just how far his shooting range is, his shot profile is insane as well. He's one of the most dangerous players running around screens and pulling off ball, he's incredible as a catch and shoot player from just about any angle, he's very good at creating separation off the dribble and shooting off the dribble from just about any distance due to his elite handle and shooting ability, and he's mastered hitting shots at tough angles when off balance. There isn't a shot that Steph Curry can hit from three no matter how difficult it may look. And teams know this, have it in the scouting report in bold letters, underlined in 24 size font, and they still can't stop him. On top of this, he's also a pretty good finisher around the basket, has good craft, and works well off ball in this area as well. Doesn't take many mid-range shots, but he's pretty efficient from that area when he does. On top of being elite both on and off the ball as a scorer, he's extremely efficient as a scorer. He has a career 62.42 shooting percentage, only has three full seasons in his career under 62 shooting percentage, and has led the league in true shooting percentage twice, which is impressive for a small guard with high scoring volume and production. And his 2016 season, he led the league in scoring at over 30 points per game, and led the league in true shooting percentage, which is wild for any player, let alone, once again, a small guard. This is such a dangerous player on offense that teams were helping off of Klay Thompson and Kevin Durant because Steph was viewed as that much of a threat. Do you know how dangerous of a threat you have to be for a team to willingly help off of one of the greatest shooters of all time and one of the greatest scorers of all time. There aren't many flaws with Steph's game on offense as a scorer outside of his own flaws with some wiring and that's not even a big deal, it's just that sometimes he forces the issue a bit too much but what player doesn't, especially when they take as many shots as Steph Curry does per game. His range is basically everywhere in the half court easily both on and off the ball, and that's what makes him not just an all-time great shooter, but an all-time great scorer. Well, all of that is amazing, obviously, because I think that when you're an all-time great scorer and the greatest shooter of all time, and you score at such a high level, it's incredible. None of this explains why Steph Curry is a maniac, like I implied that he is in the intro. Trust me, I do believe Steph Curry is an absolute maniac. And I will explain it, like, right now. The same way Sonobu hides a lot of her hate in her heart behind a smile, the same way Aizen hid his scheming and dealing behind the nerdy glasses look, and the same way Mahita, well, we don't actually have to get into that. The point is that Steph Curry's rise painted him as this poster child, the good guy, the one people should root for, and for good reason. It's a good role model to have because he's not the biggest and he doesn't jump the highest and has a very skill based game. However, he can be that and also be an absolute basketball psychopath. From the turning around and celebrating before the shot even goes in, to taunting his opponents after he hits a cold blooded dagger in their face, to using whatever grudge from whatever time, trash talk thrown his way and or calls that he may deem bad, to fuel an all-time great shooting stretch is 
absolutely insane. The absolute pettiness that he seems to carry himself with at times, the way he thrives off making his opponents or anyone on the court or in the arena that he has a vendetta against miserable is really something to watch. I think that the pettiness and really the desire to demoralize his opponents, that's the way you should put it because that's what it is, really stems from his competitive nature because I believe he's always been a competitive player. He's never been someone I've had to look at him and say, oh, is the motor running hot or cold? I think if anything, maybe the motor is a bit too high sometimes or oversuit. But for the most part, it's really in control and it's led to all-time great results. I'm not saying that being petty has made Steph Curry a Hall of Fame point guard, but I do think that that sort of nature to stay competitive has made him an all-time great, or at least contributed to him being an all-time great. It's a better way to put it. I love it. It's very fun to watch. I understand why other people may not like to watch it. I understand how players would be annoyed by this, to say the least. But as a fan, you watch a player do this, and it's really something that you look at in basketball that relates to other aspects of life in a way. And it's very interesting to see the way he carries himself and that's true for a lot of players especially the superstars and how they're wired and steph curry is a great study about that in my opinion but that's the end of this video for me to this point thank you so much again you guys have no idea how much the support on these videos means to me again if you haven't already like subscribe do all those things would be a massive help to me it would get more people to see this video and i would really appreciate that we're on that vote of 10,000 subscribers and i think we can get that by the end of the year and i can't thank you guys for the real big support that you guys have given me over the past few months if you like this video i'm willing to bet you'll like other videos that i've made so youtube is recommending one video that i don't know what will be my recommendation, my most recent upload that isn't this video, my video about Jeremy Jackson Jr. If you want to go check that out, go check out other videos. We really appreciate that. That being said, have a nice day, and I'll see you guys in the next one.